So it's your boy Rondo Drain. This is Talking Colors Podcast, and I got my boy Rich Hoodie. Rich. Hey, tell him about yourself, my dog. Hey, you know what it is, man. It's Rich Hoodie checking in. Y'all see, I'm looking at three different screens right now, yeah, but we yeah, everywhere. Yeah. But yeah, you can check me out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. Yeah, we don't know SoundCloud no more, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. We get paid for these streams, you dig? But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got a, I got a couple bangers. I've been on the radio a few times. You know, I've been doing my thing. That's all I'm saying. I've been doing my thing. Hey, hey. Y'all go check me out. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Yes, sir. Hey, so everybody that I've had on this podcast so far is military affiliated. So just trying to let y'all know that there's more than just guns and war in this military. It's actually people that got some talent, want a life. Uh, so. That's also what this podcast is going to do. Um, so there's three cameras. You got one, two, and three. Uh, this is our first time trying to live stream it. Uh, so we're going to try to get some calls in here. Somebody please call the line. Please. What's the mm. number? Drop the number hey, so my folks can so, call hey, in. So the number is 816-499-0151. It's my personal. So don't call it after this stream. You know yeah, what I'm don't, don't be blowing my boy up with hey. the nudies and all that. All right, he'll need a... Please. <laughs> You're going to get my man in trouble with them nudie booties. Don't hit my boy with them nudie booties. Oh, uh, but I also forgot to introduce, we have Rich Hoodie's wife here. Oh, yeah. Um, got to so. gotta get the, the wife in here, the spouse, the missus. Yeah. You got to slide over some more so they can see your face. Uh, oh. Hello. hello. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she right there. Hello. <laughs> hello. But uh, so let me read these comments. Hold on. What we got? We got... Uh, we gonna, I don't know about no freestyle. Uh, y'all. Oh, yeah, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm rich. Hoodie, you feel me? You got to get paid for them. Hey, you got to get paid for them. Ain't no such thing as freestyle. Hey, we got, it's paid style. That's right. We got to get some cash around. Hey, out. y'all funny. Oh, let me make sure I ain't covering up my mic. You know, let me readjust because my arm keep hitting. Hey, Latasha. Hey, it's it's all right, all right, big bad. You right. Don't forget it. All right, so let's go ahead and Big tell X. the people, dog, like, what kind of conversation we be having at work, though? Man, we be talking about a little bit of everything and a whole lot of nothing at the same time. Yeah. I'm going to keep it a bug, man. But what uh, what were we talking about the last time? I can't really remember. I think the last time we were just talking about, like, support when it comes to, like, local artists and, like, not selling yourself out right. to, to get to where you want to be. But if that's where the industry is now. Basically, we was talking about how, you know what I'm saying, artists nowadays is more portrayed on statistics, uh, publicity, and uh, basically it's like a, what's the word? Um, popularity contest, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the world is pretty much run on popularity nowadays. So with that being said, you have a handful of artists that are overlooked for the simple fact they don't have the same amount of numbers as these other trash garbage uh, rappers do. So not to to down any of the people that have made it or you know what i'm saying they on their way to the top but i just dislike the fact that it's a lot of good rappers out here not even just rappers i'm talking about anything that you do and it's kind of hard for you to come up for the simple fact that you don't have the numbers yeah and you don't have the numbers because you can't you know what i'm saying it's pay it's basically like a verification process so people go and look at your profile right they check you out they like oh but he only got like right. 500, followers. you know what I'm yeah. saying? He only got a certain amount of follows. He only got a certain amount of likes. So they're like, well, I'm not going to pay attention to him. Oh, this dude got like 30K. He got to be hard. And you know what? They're checking his stuff every <laughs> single day. And I yeah. promise you, it will be completely different. If that same artist that had 500 followers and that same artist who had 30K, it wouldn't even be a, a, a battle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it will be completely different. Like, the, t- the table will be turned. So, yeah. That's, I kind of I feel like that, too. Like, really, I don't even think that's just music. I think it's anywhere that has a number. Let's just say me doing this podcast or YouTube. If you ain't got enough views or enough likes, people just going to be like, yeah, five likes, 100 views, next. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, come nope. on, man. Like, you got to get there. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to lie, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a victim, all right? Uh, I have done that a couple times. I'm not finna cap. You mean a suspect? Uh, no. For who? No. He is a suspect. No, I'm a victim. Yeah. He's a suspect. Uh, no, I, no, I see what you're saying. You are a, a, a crime committer. I, don't, I, I am. guess you can say suspect, but that's not, I don't know. That's not I am. Mean. I'm, a hey, period. I, I have done this before, okay? You're guilty. I'm guilty. That's the word. I'm yeah. guilty as charged. There's been times when I've seen videos 
and it's like only a hundred. Sometimes they can have like three thousand views. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, no, nah, I'm not gonna go and watch their stuff, man. You know, if they ain't got at least like thirty k views, I'm not watching it. So like, that's just you know, I feel like we've been brainwashed into this society to think like numbers depict how good a product actually is, and that's not true. So yeah. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie and talk about people who do it and say I haven't done it before because that would be cap. Because I, I definitely have. So how you talk about numbers with views? I can say the same about numbers and product. Mm -hmm. Like like me doing some art. Somebody be like, yo, here go like this mixtape cover. And if I know you, I'm just like, I do it for five. Right. And they don't cherish it because I gave them 40 or $60 worth of stuff, but I'm looking out for you and I give you five and you just treat it like it's only $5. So people just be like, man, I don't even want them if you just charge five, it ain't good quality. But you go to the other guy that got like $45. I don't know, it's, it's backwards. That is crazy. It's backwards. Like, and the fact that they were overlook you trying to, you know what I'm saying, help them out. Yeah. Like, you the bro. So you got to put that into perspective. Why would I charge my homeboy the same price I charge these other random people? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why would I not try and give you a discount? Like, especially if I like, if I mess with you for real, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, nah, I'm taxing. You and, know what I'm saying? Or they be the That's homeboy crazy. and expect the discount. Yeah. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Look out for me. I'm just like, nah, bro. Yeah, that's man. crazy. So I got another question. What's Being that? in the military, in our career field especially, do you feel like, like you have a life when you when you take your uniform off? Do you feel like your job kind of hinders your workflow, your mind? Man, that's one of the main reasons I'm getting out now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, your boy got one year left. Like, bro, I cannot tell you can go any slower. But I do feel like you know what I'm saying. Just with me doing music. There's a lot of stuff that I can't do specifically because my job, one, either tells me I can't do it or it literally, like, gets in the way of me doing it. Like, certain, uh, I just missed a, what was it, a couple shows and some meetings with label executives. I actually could have sat down and talked to it one-on-one -on -one and I couldn't go. You want to know why? Because a Negro had to work. And Negroes can't miss work. <laughs> Especially if you got a wife and kids. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just multiple missed opportunities such as that that make me, you know what I'm saying, that, that push me or influence me to not want to be in the military because that obligation to, to serve and just to always be on call and interrupts with me and my personal life and stuff that I have going on. Like, my calling is not the military. I can tell you that now. Yeah. Like, that's not what I was born to do, and I know this. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't know what they on this world, on this earth for, but I can tell you for a fact, music, words, poetry, all of that, I've been doing that since I was a baby. So I ain't finna let no military, no colonel, no general, no nothing stop me from getting what I gotta go get. You feel me? So, and that's that. So, what I, what I can say to that, I feel the same way, because, like, to me, I feel like I got too much talent, and then when people see it, they're like, yo, why you even join? And I'm just like, I got to have a, a, some kind of foundation, some way to start right. this thing. But do you ever fear that if you take that risk and step out on faith on your dreams, like with our job now, we stay, but we know we're getting a check first and 15th. We know yeah. how much we get. The and it's benefits. Nice. I ain't going to fool you. So do you feel like the day you hang up your uniform, do you feel like you, like, are you working in fear? Um, not necessarily fear is more like I just know things probably won't be as easy you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. which the military they pretty much you know what I'm saying hand feed us everything like we don't have to worry about nothing they pay us on time we know how much we get in they take care of our medical and all other type of shenanigans like we literally have nothing to worry about but going to work and getting home yeah so with that being said i'm lucky and blessed enough to have a family who uh actually he just offered me an opportunity you know what i'm saying well he got a truck driving company and uh you know what i'm saying he was telling me he helped me out if i wanted to get into the business we can go, you know what I'm saying, buy some trucks and have some drivers, bro, and get this cash. Hey, that, but, uh, that's the way to go. Yeah, another thing is, like, when you come into the military, I know not a lot of people do this, but you got to try and 
finesse them. You know what I'm saying? Because they already finessing yeah, you. Get everything you can get out of it. Yeah. So, like, if you coming in, whether it's four or six, you got to make sure, you know what I'm saying, it's something that you could take on the outside. Like, with me, my plan is to basically uh, either work for some security agency, which I know they're going to pay that bread, yes, or go for TSA. Because, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I didn't already have the experience at Delta 6 checking bags. <laughs> so it shouldn't be that hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still going to be getting paid the same, doing the same job. May make a little more money. So yeah. at the end of the day, you just got to, you know what I'm saying, weigh your options yeah. and make sure you don't. You know, let the military completely take advantage of you because they're gonna take advantage of you. That's yeah. that's regardless. So <clears throat> make sure you get something back. So I know some we we had you had you asked me a question, and you was like, "Bro, you do so much. How do you find the time <laughs> to like to like? I don't know. How, how did you ask that question? Uh, let me see. So we was on the topic of my boy being a jack of all trades. Which he is. And uh, I was asking him, I was like, bro, it's only 24 hours in the day. And I know me, I have to get at least like eight hours of sleep or I'm going to be drained. I'm not going to be at full capacity. Of course, some people may be different. So you got to take away those eight hours that you, you know what I'm saying, sleep. Plus the eight, the 12, the 14 hours that you work. And all the other shenanigans, the miscellaneous things that you have to do throughout the day. And then add on top of that, you know what I'm saying? All the stuff like the from the graphic designing to the the videos to the editing the videos to the t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Just all the things that that you do, it was just like it was baffling me because I was like, <clears throat> bro, <laughs> it's only so much time in the day. Like <laughs> I I don't see like I don't I don't see how you get it bro. done. But he hey he do so I I try like. It is 24 hours in a day, and right now at our job, we do work 12 to 14 hour shifts, Tough. and I do try to get, if I can get more than eight hours of sleep, I will. Uh, I think right now, sleep is like my biggest enemy, because like, before, like, over the summer and just like previous, I probably took naps. I took three hour naps, and I just... I just kind of like put them in slots mm. and I would just wake up and do something. But every time I woke up, I would do something else. Uh, Cause me, I feel like if you, if you're doing one thing for too long, mm -hmm. you get that writer's block or that artist block and you just got to step away sometimes. Right. So me, I don't like to step away and not do nothing. I just step away. I'm just like, well, shoot, let me do this mixtape cover or mm -hmm. shoot. Let me go ahead and record this podcast or let me go ahead and be somebody's physical trainer at the gym or let me go ahead and try to do this T-shirt design or let me try to go and play the piano and make some more beats. Like, but at the same time, I kind of want to be that guy that people call on for everything. Mm -hmm. And it's a hassle like. Me, my organization, my time management, it is poor, poor. Like, <laughs> I got a, a D plus in time management. Uh, I got a C minus in communication because I'm talking to so many people. I can't mm. remember who I talked to. Hey, can you do this for me? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I never wrote it down. Like, I'm learning how to be a business myself. But if I could ever get to the point to where I could be like the top and then have like 10 people and all those 10 people have five yeah. people. Oh my gosh, this person do the music, this person do the art, this person do this. And I'm just like the executive, the top, they'll be like, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. But I feel like a person has to be experienced and hands on right. before and they can yeah. be a boss of anything. Facts. So you gotta be that worker for you, you know what I'm saying? You. Before you be that boss. And right now I'm just trying to, like how you know this, mm. if I ask you, yo Rich, uh, I got this music label. I kind of want you to be in charge of it. I want him to be like, yo, I like your work ethic. I know we go get somewhere because I've seen you do stuff. I've seen you start from scratch. I know where we can go with all of our resources put together. And we just do that with multiple people over stuff that they're good at. Like I know some photographers. Hey, we just go put you in charge of the tech stuff. I know a few writers. If you need some ghost writers, I know some ghost writers. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but I feel like nah. if we all put everything together, bro, I just feel like it's going to go somewhere. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm afraid of failure, so I try to touch everything. I don't want to mm. say that I didn't accomplish anything that I started. But that's one thing people do know about me. Like, if Rondo said he go do something, he go do it. It may not last long, mm. <laughs> but he go do it. But, bro, I'm tired. I wish I had one thing I could do. And you know what, man? 
like, I don't know, like you said, it is a gift <clears throat> and a curse because, like, you you spread so thin sometimes, like you like you said, it's going to be, or I feel like, if it, if it was me, if I was doing what you was doing, mm -hmm. I feel like it would be hard for me to, like, sit down <clears throat> and refine those things or even if I was able to refine those things, like, the time it would take to actually, like, master and perfect each individual thing. Yeah. Well, like, about a shit, I'd probably be, like, 30, 40 years old, which ain't no, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Ain't I ain't no saying, shame on nobody. <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying that's old or nothing, but it's, like, you, like, you 22, right? 21. 21. Yeah. So, say you was to master one or two things right now. Mm -hmm. Them one or two things could possibly be jackpot yeah, hits. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... You won't have to worry about waiting until you get 30 or 40, and you already can start working on that structure mm -hmm. as being the executive to where you have them people doing what you already mastered. Yeah. Therefore, you could take that time and start refining the other stuff, mm -hmm. and then just, you know what I'm saying, just build that structure yeah. like that. Yeah. But I don't know. That's, that's me personally. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know. This man sure. built different, bro. Hey, he built different. <laughs> shout out to John at uh, Tight Clips. Uh, not Tight Clips, Tight Cuts. Look at me messing up. Uh, uh, I was asking him because he was just like, yo, Rondo, you remind me of myself when I was younger. I used to do this and this and this and this. And he's like, and now, you know, I'm doing this. And I'm just like, what is your secret? And he's like, if I could have just picked one thing. Because he said, I used to be a rapper and I, my stuff was hot. And then people just like, yo, I like your rhymes. Can you write songs? He's like, so I would stop rapping and I write songs and I got good at that. And then people was just like, yo, you got some photography stuff? He's like, yeah, I can do your video shoot. And then he would leave those other two things along and he'd just do video shoots and mm. this and this and this. And so he's just like, if I would have just kept one thing and just stayed good at it, good at it, I could have been at that height. And once I had the finances and the, the networking and just the numbers, I could have had time to designate people to do that other stuff for me that I could be in charge of. And I was just right. like, hmm. <laughs> Makes sense, you know, huh, bro? <laughs> and, and like, I'm going to call John an old head just because all the men in the barbershop, you just might as well as give them the respect of just being wise. Yeah. But being young, it's kind of like fearful to take advice from people. It's like, I know they know what they're talking about, but it's just like, but they don't know what they're talking about. Like, yeah, it's like, what if they don't? Like, I don't, it's... They, you basically take it like, they ain't me. You know what I'm saying? Right, they think, experience ain't yeah. my experience. They ain't taking the same yeah. road that I'm taking. But so, I know everything he was saying was like true. But in my mind, I kind of want to be the Picasso of life. I kind of yeah. want to be that person. Like, growing up, my mama used to say, what you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I had the list. I want to be a construction worker, a police <laughs> officer. I want to be in the WWE. I want to be a barber. I want to be a teacher, specifically a PE teacher. I'm telling you, I did not want to pick one. She's like, you got to pick one. And I was just like, I don't know. And then when I got here in the military and then I went to the college, you know, they was like, okay, so pick whatever degree you want to do. I'm seeing architect, engineer. I'm seeing 2D and 3D animator. I'm seeing uh, uh, psychologist. Stuff, I'm just like, y'all want to have like seven degrees, but I want all of it now. Yeah. And I think my dad tells me that all the time. Like, he's like, yo, you got to enjoy your 20s. You want to be 30 so bad. But I'm just like, he's like, you always want the answers. Like now. He said, sometimes you just got to wake up tomorrow and your answer's there. It's not a, hey, how do I do this? It's just, you need to wake up. And so yeah. I'm learning how to be patient. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a caller. Hold up. Oh, wow. We got a caller. We it's got a caller. Matt. We got a caller. Hold on. Yo, Matt, what's going on? Yo, add me into the convo. Hey, you here, baby. What's up? What's going on, man? Nah, I'm just chiming in, man. Do your thing. Hey, so, uh, where, where, where we at? We had, uh... Oh, taking your time and being patient. Yeah. Patient. Hey, so Mac himself, bro, Mac got talent. Mac rap too. Y'all might have to do a collab, though. Like, hey. y'all might just have What's to. Up? Mac DJ, like, he, he he a whole artist out here. Uh, But Mac, hey, how do you feel like the military, do you feel like it hinders you from doing your outside thing? Fuck yeah. All, all day, man. Like, 
also like don't don't get the wrong idea, man. Like it's cool sometimes, but like also it prevents from doing a lot of things, man. But also at the same time, it also enhances doing a lot of things too. So I feel like it's more pros than cons if you want me to keep it a buck with you. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of things that I would love to go out and do that I know that I pretty much can't. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So and, and and to be honest with you, man, like with my career is right now, man, like as far as being a DJ and an artist and stuff like that, man. All the things that I have going on right now, I probably wouldn't be able to do if I was not in the military. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But if if I were to make as much money as I can, as I'm, as I'm making right now in the civilian world, then oh, yeah, all you have to do You right. know what I'm saying? Um, and, like, I feel like a lot of people don't apply themselves to shit like that, man. Or, like, especially being, growing up in the city and being in the city and stuff like that, man. Yeah. Like, Jobs aren't aren't easy to get it out there, especially not now in this day and age. You see what right. I'm saying? And everybody's out there doing the same thing and stuff like that, man. So I feel like if if people could get like the check that I'm getting right now, or applying themselves or get a cool, steady job, and you know what I'm saying, really applying themselves, man, then it's very much doable. But as far as the military, yeah, it hinders me from doing a lot of things, but it also enhances it also enhances doing a lot of things at the yeah. same time. Yeah, I say like with me. Like, before the military, I would get customers. And you know everybody in Kansas City, dog. Ain't nobody really right. holding no big bucks in their pocket. So when I would do stuff, right. I would do stuff, like, cheap. But now that I'm in the military, a tech sergeant could be like, y'all want a tattoo sketch? Hey, I'm going to charge you about $60 for a <laughs> sketch, my dog. <laughs> Why? Because I know you got it. Yeah. You know, uh, like, I'm so used to messing with dorm kids, like, college kids that got ramen noodles and stuff. So I got to make stuff like $10. So, like, I understand, like, this military gives me, like, an audience to be in front of. So, and plus, like, we network. Like, another thing, man, as far as being, like, in the military, man, it's kind of, it's more disrespectful on the civilian side growing up in Kansas City, man. But people out here be pocket watching. Like, little do they know, like, whatever, like, you, they may not know, like, what you got in your pocket, man. But they know that you're getting the check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's also another thing. Like, hey, we going out here. We going to... We going to Colorado, you know what I'm saying, getting the Airbnb, just put yeah. this much in, this, that, and third. Don't even ask you what you got to do. They just mm-hmm. assume that you can do so. Yeah. Going up in Kansas City as a civilian, man, you can't do that. Yeah, you don't, you don't got, you don't, I, I think another thing, like, us being the military has taught us, like, you can leave the city. Like, so many people okay. want to be a Kansas City rapper and stay in Kansas City. Like, if you don't go to okay. some, some small local spot where there's lack of competition, own that city and keep moving. Like, like what you? That's kind of what I'm on right now. In the nutshell. Like you, where you at? New Mexico, right? New Mexico, yeah, close New Mexico. Bro, like let's say I I want to do a gig. I got you. I can stay at the crib, do a shoot. I got a boy in Colorado. Go over there. I got a dude in California. Go over there. I got a dude in Florida. Go over there. I got a dude in Jersey. Go over there. Mm-hmm. Like people in Kansas City do not have that access of people all over the world. I got a boy in Germany right now. Like we could do a shot in Germany. Like. Facts. They, they don't have another that thing, man, that if, move. Another thing, man, like, if you're not hot, you know what I'm saying, the city's not supportive. Oh, no. If you're not really on your grind and you're, like, really out here doing your thing, man, That's like the that city's not supportive. Too, Unless they like your family or your friends and stuff like that, man. But yeah. they, they picky. They are really picky. Bro, crabs in a barrel. Kansas City, you have that number one. <laughs> like, no disrespect right. to the city, but... Like if dude no, no. ain't got the numbers, the views, the 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 women, the the whatever, you are not <laughs> fooling with dog. There's so many conscious like people out here, but y'all don't want to hear conscious. Y'all want to hear yeah, yeah, get it. You know, like y'all yeah, do not want to. Bro, like my thing is, man, like and, and that, that's why I fuck with you on on the real level, man, because like we listen to music, yeah, you know sir. Saying? We ain't we ain't out here like we dissect that shit. We we study it. We listen to it all day long. Mm-hmm. This, that, and the third. We kind yeah. of try to compare it, and we try to make it ourselves to see what we can do and stuff like that, man. Mm-hmm. I feel like the mentality of, like, Kansas City is, like, uh, Mozzie or, like, Young Boys and bullshit like that or somebody that nobody ain't never heard before. Like, that's not mainstream or more underground and stuff like that, man, which is cool. Yeah. But that's not music. Y'all not going to get nowhere with that. Yeah. That's not going to last. Y'all might talk about it and look back on it maybe... Five, ten, fifteen years from now, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. damn, we released this, 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 that, and the third. Yeah. The stuff that kind of that we own and like that we listen to and stuff like that will be here forever and will always make a change. Everybody else is doing the same shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you make some good points, man. Hey, but hey, I'm gonna call you after this, bro. We just gonna go ahead and close this podcast out because we done reached our time. But I appreciate you cool, calling, man. my dog. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, dog. Hey, you know no problem. No problem.
Word. All right. Oh yeah. Hey, time fly when you having fun. For real. Hey, man. but uh. Talking we, that real spiel. Hey, hey, I appreciate Mac for making the call. Uh, hey, y'all need to do this more often. Don't let him be the only one that's calling though. Hey, but uh, I'm gonna be in Chicago next week or this week coming up. So uh, I'll be kind of busy. This video will be out in like the next two days for everybody watching live. Um, make sure you support, make sure you share. Hey, like I said, I got my boy Rich Hoodie. Rich Hoodie. Yes, sir. Hey, you know it's your boy do. Rondo Drain, and this is Talking Colors Podcast. Peace.